What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we have another video here with World War Z. Uh, we're going to cover two subjects. The first one's going to be the sport kills, which is to kill a lurker midair, which has been avoiding me since release day. And the next one is going to be the entire playthrough of New York Chapter 1, Episode 1 on hard mode. I'm going to give you a tutorial on that. So this is when I eventually got the lurker. We'll go into more detail in a second. But I tried that so many times and the only thing I did different this time was I didn't take damage first time I killed one of those guys in the air that it didn't take damage. Every other time, I took damage. It was luck. This kind of thing, normally your, your buddies will kill them as well, but that's what I can say really. It is very difficult to get, but I would Dad, not use a shotgun. I didn't use a shotgun um, in the end to get it, whereas before, I used the shotgun plenty of times and eventually failed every time. Okay, so now we're going to start the tutorial. Now, at the start, silence is definitely key. Um, it doesn't matter if these guys get alerted, but uh, the larger areas, if you get alerted, then you're going to have a whole herd of guys on you, and then your buddies will switch to noisy weapons, whereas small groups like this, they will stick with the silenced weapon if you do, and you should be A-OK. -okay. And um, alerting them, not just only alerts the people in the room, sometimes you will get a horde on you that is actually not meant to be there, but only because you've made a noise. So, step one, silence, absolute silence in the beginning levels. Now... I'm going to show you the guns and ammo quickly and the customizations I have for this level. Let's check it out. So I've stuck with the exterminator until I get him maxed out. As you can see, I've selected the top three over there. Those seem to be the best for solo play. Then I've got the auto start with the AK and that's what I was focusing on, upgrading that weapon. So I have it at the start every time and it is silenced. And you can see other ones there, 25% chance to gain a med pack, I think it is. And then faster reload. And more ammo, penetration, party in my place, Molotov increased to three, which is pretty cool because you can pick up a bag when you're really holding one. And pickpocket. And those three over there, I'll probably go for the, probably the second last one, that one. Maybe the Molotovs. And then we have a level 30 there at the end. Now, weapon-wise, uh, I mentioned it before, but I was using the assault rifle and it is the maxed out one on the far right. I'm still unable to select my bundle over there. Thanks very much, guys. But as you can see, the far right-hand side, I've got the maxed out one right there. Let's get a better look at it right there, the ARC-103. All right, guys, let's get back to this tutorial. So, just a little reiteration. We're going to be very, very quiet going through this area, especially these guys in this room, because if you, if you annoy the guys on the right-hand side, the rest are probably going to follow in my case, I was lucky enough, I moved back quick enough, I didn't alert them all. Now the whole idea again is what I was saying is to stay quiet so your, your um, buddies don't whip out their loud weapons. Because if they get charged, they will start firing proper rounds without silenced weapons. So that'll fuck everything up. And I've been killed many times just in this hallway, messing it up. And uh, the swarm comes thick and fast as they do. Now as you probably know, if you hold the cursor over... It'll go red if the guy is, I was going to say alive, but you know what I mean. Animated. Reanimated? Yeah. This guy's having a bit of a headbang, but we're going to sort him out right there. Melon popper. Now, I didn't show the pistol, but I've got the fully upgraded pistol as well, so it's got the highest power, which is very, very useful for this kind of area. And you can also run up and jump on them, pushing the melee weapon, and you'll do a stab or you'll do a stomp as well. But uh, not ideal to run into a crowd of uh, laying zombies because some might not be reanimated and some will. So this chick is down. Now this area, there's a lot more Zeeks in here. I keep calling them zombies. I suppose you are Zeeks in this room here. There's a lot more in here than I previously anticipated. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because they kind of just stand around. Now if you get headshots every time, they will not alert other zombies or Zeeks. But if you miss one, hit the shoulder. You have a couple of seconds, literally, to take him down. Otherwise, he will alert everyone else that you are there. Yeah, the pistol upgraded is fantastic. And it is a necessity because you could use your the assault rifle or SMG with silenced weapon. But a single shot is all you need for this. And the secondary weapons, I haven't really used any other ones that I'm thinking of. Maybe the grenade launcher now and again, or the double barrel shotgun for fun, for fun at least. But it's not very conducive to this kind of gameplay. Uh, maybe on multiplayer it will be. Give yourself some more breathing room. 
but the silence pistol I just like anyway. See that guy? Messed him up, but uh, got him down in the end. Now, if I didn't realize, if you head to the left-hand side of this office, then you will alert the guys in the office next to you. I didn't know that. As you can see, my map will light up in a second. There they are. But as long as it's only a couple, you guys will stay quiet. Very acrobatic. Now the room on the right hand side over there where it's very well lit. There's never anything in there. You don't even have to go in there. But uh, I just feel the one time that I don't go in there, there's going to be some sort of spawn box. But on any difficulty, I've never found anything in that room. So leave it if you wanna. But the one next to it, on the far right hand side now, at the end of the hall, there's definitely always something in there. I thought I'd messed it up right there, but again, I was lucky enough to not get alerted because the zombies will, the Zeeks will attack you from the back and they will come in the hundreds. And this is actually the first time I did this perfectly quiet. Well, it's hardly perfect, but I got to the elevator in complete silence without using any loud weapons. And I wasn't attacked by the swarm that normally comes at the end while you buy the elevator. I was kind of prepping for it and I was like, okay, that works. I would really love to have more information on the performance bonus because obviously you get your, your points, your upgrade points, but also you get a, a performance bonus. I wish it would tell you more meticulously what that's for, like headshots or staying silent. doesn't give you any information on that and it seems to only always be 400, well, since I've started noticing. So I'm not quite sure on that. Maybe if somebody knows, can hit me up in the comments. But in this room over here, there's always going to be something, whether it be, I've never seen a lurker, but uh, you can never be too careful. So you can see there, I've got the double pickup, so I can hold three, because I already had one. So this is when I thought, okay, I was waiting for the swarm to come from the back as soon as you push the elevator, and it didn't happen. So it must be attributed to the fact that I was silenced weapon the whole way through. So that's something to strive for then, and there's a bit of a stomp for the last one. As you can see, I also start off with the assault shotgun, which is all you'll ever need. For any kind of heavy at close Elevator range that is the payload rifles best for distance well I have in my experience Wrong floor, assholes. at first yeah, I was expecting a lot more to come out of there and then I was ready for my Molotov right here but uh, nothing happened so I was like okay that works let us refill again and head on down is it down I don't know Dan. You there? Yep, descend to the ground floor. You gotta be down. We're headed down. It should be Have descent food. to the ground floor. Now. You come in. <laughs> Over. I got food and booze for a month. Jawheads will be here by then. I'm gonna wait it out. Right, the atrium. Right There's one little trick here. I'm not sure if many people know, which I'm gonna reveal in a second. But uh, on the initial outcrop, when you come out of the elevator, I never found anything on this level on the left-hand side. Normally, someone, normally a bull comes out of this gate over here. And again, nothing came out this time. And uh, there's just nowhere to tell why. <laughs> okay, down here again, we're going to use the pistol. So we have a crate. Probably going to be a medikit, which is not a bad idea, being on hard mode. Thank you. Okay, having a look. Now all those guys standing over there, take them out silently, otherwise they will alert another horde which comes down the elevator, or the escalator should I say. But sometimes you can get lucky if you mess up a shot, and then you just offload quickly into their bodies, making sure you hit them, and you can take them all out. But if you want to play it safe, I mean the whole playthrough took what, half an hour, 33 minutes, and uh, I got a lot of upgrade points for it, being on hard mode, you get 350. A couple levels of this you can pretty much buy anything three levels of this and you can buy over a thousand which is pretty good now I can't really see the heads of these bastards I thought that was gonna happen so we have one more there and there's quite a few by the elevator down there when you could run up and hit them if you want to but I was just playing it safe 
tutorial wise I wanted it to be as, as perfect as I could get it obviously the train part gets a bit messy because of those fucking screamers they suck and if you go for the wrong one or the wrong crate at the end and the screamers on the other side of the floor then or other side of the atrium then you're screwed because you can't get there quickly and kill him you have to just deal with continuous zombies there might be a strategy there to find out where the screamer is before you choose what location you want to go to but what I want to do is perfect this level as much as I can and uh, upgrade the character full which is going to be pretty much by the time this is uploaded he should be full or I should be full he she but um, then I want to do the insane difficulty solo and see how insane it actually is being super careful and the last one gets the axe or the sword or what is it a machete I don't know okay now there was something down here I think it was a pistol we don't want that because we're gonna refill now the trick I was talking about earlier is actually got to do with these hanging lights as you will see in a couple of seconds you can shoot them and they will drop on the zombies down below so we have molotovs there I've got three refill ammo tons of molotovs more than I'll be able to use so I started off from that side but uh, line yourself up because the second you shoot one then they'll start running and you might miss them there's actually another one to my bottom right I didn't notice but uh, shoot those straight away because it's fun and it looks cool and then obviously you just go to town And this whole atrium part uh, wasn't difficult at all. Zombies only really get close at the very end when they come running through the grates. Yeah, you want to run in front of my fucking gun, you're going to get shot. Lewis. Okay, refill. We got them all. Pellet rifle, very powerful as well. But there's a lot of stats as well, which upgrade your um, your heavy weapons. But that assault shotgun just owns. Here comes the bullion. Easy enough to deal with, but he takes a fairly large amount of beating. As you can see, 11, 12 shots maybe. There's also a trophy for walking to 100 toxic clouds. So... Look at that sneaky puff yeah, adder right there. Day, and we just came through there as well. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, there's a trophy for getting 100, uh, walking into 100 toxic clouds. So if I wasn't on hard mode, I'd probably run up to that guy and get uh, coughing. When we get outside, don't stop until we hit the subway. Okay, so for this area, remember that this is the only resupply point. Don't get it confused with down below. So we have Molotovs galore, and we have the barbed wire, which is not Anything ideal. You want down. a turret or the electrified fence. Assault shotgun right there, and then another assault, guard, assault shotgun that is down here for me. So, no shortage of assault shotguns. Where? What happened there? Oh, that was the electric fence. I like to do a turret, an electric fence, a barbed wire on the left, and they do the one turret in front of me, and he grabs me. Yeah, somebody shoot it. Thank you. Medikits are few and far between, so that was very unlucky. So yeah, I like to do a turret over here because they come running down that elevator. Escalator, damn it. And then I stand on the right-hand side over here guarding this angle. And that pretty much owns it. And I get the boulder trophy as well. That is for building a certain amount of traps. And this chest is respawned because I definitely opened that already. I think that's what happened. That was... The barbed wire was out there, and then it kind of went into the chest when I opened it. I don't know, there was something weird about that. Now those zombies to my left or behind me now are actually red, but you can't actually shoot them. I even tried flaming them, but now we are all good to go. So we're going to go hurry shit up. Now there's another creep. I don't think I've ever found that creep. Walking around this entire atrium, I don't think I ever found it, unless it's down to my left. So as you can see, turret facing left there, and then I've got the barbed wire and electricity on the left. And now, standing next to the payload rifle, it was just perfect setup. 
Might as well use the ammo. Fuck, it looks cool, man. And this weapon also has a 50 mag, which is massive. As you can see, pretty much thinned them out in one clip. I'm only using Molotovs to make it look better. Hello. That's it, puta. Here comes Mr. Nope, he's gone. Thinning them out. It's kind of game where you have the genocide trophy for killing 10,000 zombies, I think it is. You can get that on your first couple of playthroughs. Nah, but realistically, maybe a day, day and a half, and I got that trophy. Because, I mean, what, 800, 750 zombies a level? Seems like more. Come on, step over to the electric side here. I was getting cocky now. Shouldn't be too close. But there's no one left. So we definitely going to run upstairs and refill. And then also swap out the assault shotgun because you might as well max that out as well. Because obviously refilling your ammo doesn't refill that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Somebody push the button. Push the button. Okay, refill your molos as well. Molotovs. And there was a fucking lurker right there as well. See, assault shotgun. Might as well swap it out. Yes, as do I. Now, on this outside area, there's never any zombies, but there could be a chest or crate on your right-hand side. So be sure to check this area. I do check it, but there is nada. Go, go, go. Turret has found someone. Now, to your right, sometimes there can be a crate, so be sure to look over here. And then there's sometimes some stuff over here, just to the left. Go, go, and then inside this container moving. as well. And then straight ahead of me, there's a guy leaning against the turned over car on the right. There's sometimes a shotgun there. And that uh, machine gun is my second favorite. But the only problem with that is you can't move while holding it. Which makes the assault shotgun owning. I think it's infinitely better. But obviously this is a situation pending. I mean, I'm going down into the close quarters of the subway. So not being able to move while shooting is not ideal. So there's a med kit there. Might as well heal up the least health, which is Angel. Before he turns to angel dust. Okay, so a little tip here. Do not wait for them to come for you. Definitely run and jump over the bollards or the turnstiles. And then it's just very, very easy. Now definitely don't hold down the trigger. Otherwise you will waste an infinite amount of ammo. Even at this point I've probably been using my... I think I do take out my pistol now. The next ammo resupply is going to be within the train and there's a fair amount to get through. There's a whole bunch of guys leaning up against the train and then keep shooting these guys. Don't go past this fridge or whatever the hell this is here. Vending machine. Wait for the uh, the ball to come. And then he will be easy pickings. I'll do some owning shots just now when the guys come running from the right. Let's have a look here. Yeah, you see 80, uh, what's it, 56 shots. Might as well use this. Save the rifle for the rainy day. You can hear there's quite a lot of activity. And those are the ones downstairs. So now at this point, stay here. Because he is coming. Look at that. Boom. Boom. I wanted to make a hat trick. Did not. Don't be tempted. Just wait. These bulls take a fucking lot of damage to go down. Sure, a shot to Sean in the head, point blank. You've got to have a headache. Okay, at this point, you can go on forward. And now there's going to get very chaotic down here as well. But I'd like to do the strafe left and right, making sure to get each side of the pillars. But the one guy cut in there and started hitting me. But there's a resupply point right here, so you don't have to be cautious with your ammo. Nothing, I need nothing, just refill. Now, the choice of which ones to go to 
um, because you will get certain ones that have two or three or, th or two inside so you only have to go to them once the safest one and the most dangerous one the most dangerous one is probably going to be straight ahead of me up now fucking sneaker this one over here is not my favorite either it's very close quarters i suppose everything is but there is two down here in two separate rooms i decided for some reason to go this direction and things got a little bit messy now i think i even got downed Where is the Screamer? I hate not being able to see them. He's normally up top there or up top the other side. He just wasn't. But I kept on forgetting I was playing on hard mode. Which I will do every time now. But uh, your armor, a couple of hits and you're hurting. There is a Screamer. You see what I mean? Now, if I had stayed that side and gone into that door straight away, I would be so far away. But as you're running, do the follow me and they will pretty much stop shooting and follow you. But he is vital. If you don't take him out, then you will run out, of, run out of ammo. And sometimes to my right, there is a fence that you can open and also get uh, crates in here. But it doesn't look like it at the moment. Yep, then I realize I've got someone down. Here's a somersault. Fucking ninja, that was. And this is when it gets very messy. Definitely shouldn't have gone left and right of the train. I should have just gone straight into that door, straight down. I wouldn't be doing any of this. As you can see, I get owned and then I get owned again. Keeping in mind there is another assault shotgun in the train. There are two Molotovs, so picking that up would be a waste. But uh, definitely going to get refill ammo before I fuck off again. No. I guess I didn't. Wow. Okay, this one, there's definitely two, but also Lurker Central. Since it is quiet, you might as well stay quiet. No need to arouse them Zeeks. Now there's almost definitely going to be a Lurker, or two Lurkers, in on your way in and out of this area. I did, I did. And he's either going to be behind this wall here, or he'll be in one of the rooms, but he's almost definitely going to be here somewhere. And at the moment, if he pounces me, he probably might down me. But uh, you can hear him, but just can't see him. He's got to be in here. There he is. See, there are Molotovs. I could be using more Molotovs. But um, there's no real point unless you've got a horde on your ass. But I thought I'd clear this out as well. And we're going to head on back. But you're going to get attacked right here. Or when I come back for that one, that is. Checking for Lurk Lurks. I'm glad I got that sporting kills out of the way. Been gunning for that for ages. Now I'm going to find a nice spot to get the uh, puddle kills. The petrol puddle kills. Ten, uh, ten Zeeks in one puddle burn. Which I'm fairly certain I got. I even counted them. Even more than 10 and it didn't pop. So with the uh, sport kills, if you take any damage, it doesn't count. So there's probably something I don't know or haven't realized yet. But I'm keen to figure it out. That's the enjoyment of doing these trophies. Okay, we're getting the fuck out. We're going to deliver our number two. <laughs> yeah. Now I would throw a Molotov in there immediately now. Because these guys come thick and fast. Don't know why I didn't. As you can see, multiple directions. The best thing to do is kind of just wait. You kind of want to push forward because the guys never shut up about hurrying up. But you can take your time because there is no time limit. If there's a screamer, sure, different story. You've got to get out. But as you can see there, fucking two guys get past and I'm red already. And then the bull. Okay, he might be easier to take out on the station. But I'm going to swap the shotgun because I only had two shots there, I think. And there is the Screamer. Didn't realize I had a shotgun still. Bit of a waste. But uh, we're not going to run out of that ammo because there's more in here. Okay, refill first. Molotov's two. Now, 
probably just run straight away. Now, I probably would go back. Nah, yeah, this is where I got my uh, sport kills trophy. You will see the build up to it now. Haha, <laughs> wasn't this turn. When I come back for the second crate, he is there. They're very sneaky like that. Now you get attacked from both sides. So I like to throw a Molotov there, kind of blocks that entrance. And then there's going to be quite a few guys coming in here. Name of my ex wife sex tape. <laughs> anyway, there is a lurker right there. Now I've got a 90% resistance to fire, so I'm not too worried about that. Here comes a bull. Headshots definitely work. Angel, get out of the way. And once my character is maxed out, then I'm going to start doing the online multiplayer properly. And uh, if you guys want to hook up, do some live streams or do some videos on multiplayer. Lots of trophies you can get in that. Hit me up in the comments. More the merrier. Okay, I think we're going to come back down there and grab the next area. There's going to be a room there with another crate. But not before. We gotta go. Where is it? No, we go upstairs. This room is fairly easy. Now there will be guys coming under the grate. I thought that was a lurker. But uh, there are some guys come through there. Including a Hazzy. A Hazzy Matty. Let's call him a Matty. I'm calling them Matties from now on. Plenty of guys through here. And there is a screamer. And I couldn't find him. It's got to be the other side. He only, only lights up red when he screams. I think it was to my right hand side. There he is down below. Sneaky bastard. Another heavy machine gun. I am spoiled for choice when it comes to heavy weapons here. Heading back with it. Yeah, once you can reach that shoulder swap at least, it's uh, incredibly effective. Okay, this is when I think I start messing shit up and lucky to survive on the exit. So there comes some more Zeeks down the bottom. Easy enough at distance. And it's so much better having a fully upgraded gun. It, uh, it makes it way more enjoyable. Yeah, it gets very, very tight here. I should have thrown a Molotov at the bottom of this train. Because uh, I think I almost get down. I mean, somebody finishes me off. I think for this kind of thing as well, there is an option to have uh, two zombies hit for every strike that you do. But I must have deemed it not as good as whatever I chose in the end on the on the uh, customization. Okay, survived that. I just keep coming, and I have taken out the screamer. So be wary. Once you've collected four, there's going to be a rush. Be ready for it. Creeper. You might recognize that. You're rat food now. Okay, now there's no crate down here. Do not go down here. Turn around, John. Creeper. Ah, looks like I did this already. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I forgot to edit this out again. But it's okay. We're back to normal here. And we don't want to go down there. We want to go straight back here. Open said doors. Look for said lurkers. Nothing. Grab the supply box. Heading back with it. Okay, heading back. That'll deliver five. We need one more collection. Be careful of these stairs. There's sometimes lurkers lurking on the stairs. But there was a free run back because they sent so many at me on the way to this damn thing. Let's see what you got. Okay. For you. How much ammo? I think I checked my ammo for my That's weapon, my heavy weapon. Now, I like to leave this one for last. The one on my left-hand side, that door, don't go in there. It's a fucking balls up. This one, the crates are right here. You still get attacked, but um, you could almost run to the train, even through zombies now. Which is not advised, because they will slow you down. Hang back, you've got the ammo. Throw a Molotov immediately. <laughs> this is going to be different, guys. There's no saying that you're going to be in this room. But... Uh, 
this is what happens after you will collect the last crate no matter what room you're in as you can see we have matties and we're gonna have two balls so be prepared for two attackers there is one and there is the other and this is the way and i think he gets me yep just gets me i can't get up but it's all right we have team members okay we are heading down to the final stretch now there's going to be a lurker in this train almost every time sneaky fucker all right there we have it Now uh, before you go, again, I'm not sure if this kind of helps your performance for a number of zombies killed, but um, do it anyway, fuck it. Take out these guys as you're moving away, and then you're going to hit the cutscene. So heading to the stat screen, this is going to be more for multiplayer so you can compete against your buddies. But um, this is where I'd like to see more information like how it adds up the performance score, breakdown of the performance score that is. And then uh, we're going to go to almost max level for my exterminator, a couple more games and we're going to be there. Alright guys, that is going to bring us to the end, I really hope you're enjoying the content, smash that like button if you are, if you have any questions at all, just ask me, I'm always going to answer. My Rain 420 is my nick for my PlayStation, so if you want to send me a friend request and want to do some multiplayer on this and do some videos, then hit me up, glad to do it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching guys, and I want to catch you on the next one.